What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here. Welcome to the WordPress show. Today we are going to solve a problem related to a plugin called Headers and Footers Scripts Inserter by SpaceX Chimp. Um, I love this plugin. It's typically worked for me and it has over 30,000 active installations. It's tested up to the most recent version of WordPress at the time of this filming 5.5.3 and it's just a quality plugin. However, on occasion, it's been known to give a blank screen. As you can see here, um, one of my clients recently tried to add some header or footer code to head and footer scripts inserter, and it just gave them a blank screen and it was not working. So I needed to find an alternative. Now, before we get to the alternative, first I'm gonna show you what exactly is a head and footer code. It's something like either Google Analytics code, it could be Google Tag Manager code, it could be Google Webmaster Tools, Search Console code, it could be like a heat mapping code, like if you're looking at Crazy Egg or another kind of heat mapping tool like Hotjar or something like that. As you know, WordPress has a array of a bunch of different tools that you can plug into your website to make it become a digital marketing machine, data-driven marketing machine. So what did I do when this problem faced my client? I found an alternative plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. This has more than 1 million activations. It's also tested up to WordPress uh, version 5.5.3. So they're relatively equal but there could be a potential plugin conflict between head and footer scripts inserter um, and another plugin on your website, which could be causing you to get this blank screen that my client was getting and showing that your head and footer code would not be in your source code, meaning none of that tracking would be happening. If this is the case for you, I would pivot to insert headers and footers by WP Beginner. They're a very reputable source. And when I did that for my client, it absolutely worked. It worked perfectly, as you can see here under the WordPress admin dashboard under settings, and then insert headers and footers. I was able to go in and replicate the code, the Google AdSense code, all other header and footer code that I needed is now under the source code here. So again, just talking about an alternative plugin to head and footer scripts inserter. I hope that this helps you if you run into this problem with head and footer scripts inserter by SpaceX Chimp. I would pivot over to insert headers and footers. It does the exact same thing. There might not be a plugin conflict with it on your website. So again, a lot of times I wouldn't worry too much about these issues. Uh, helping you find an alternative plugin is one thing that the WordPress show can continue to do. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, you can check me out at datadriven.design or the wordpressshow.com coming soon. And if you'd like to do business with me, you can email me directly at paul at datadriven.design. This is another episode of the WordPress show. Thanks and have a great day.